think asthma is just about wheezing? Think again, here are five things you need to know about childhood asthma because missing these can mean missing key signs in your child. If my child isn't wheezing, their asthma is fine or they may not have asthma. Actually, chronic cough or getting tired too fast during play can all potentially be symptoms of asthma. They seem fine during the day, so it must not be asthma. Asthma often can get worse at night, leading to nighttime coughing, restlessness, or trouble sleeping. If a child isn't sick with the virus and is having a cough only at night, it's useful to speak to a clinician about this issue. If my toddler had asthma, the doctor would already know. Diagnosing asthma in kids under five is tricky because lung function tests are tough at that age. Instead, doctors may call it reactive airway disease and monitor how they respond to treatment. If your little one gets wheezy every time they catch a cold, especially with things like RSV, they could be at higher risk for asthma, especially if asthma runs in the family. We just use the blue inhaler when they need it. If your child needs a rescue inhaler more than twice a week or is having wake-ups at night needing that medication, that's a concern. Their asthma may not be well controlled and they may need a daily controller medication like an inhaled corticosteroid to prevent flare-ups. Think of the blue inhaler or the rescue inhaler like a band-aid. Great for emergencies, but not for prevention. Asthma only flares up when they're sick. Asthma has a long list of enemies, allergens, cold air, strong smells, stress, even laughing too hard. Yep, asthma does not have a sense of humor. So knowing your child's triggers can make a huge difference in managing symptoms and can even reduce the need of prescribed medications. And if allergens seem to be a big culprit, an allergist may be worth a visit. Asthma is more than just wheezing. It's a chronic condition that needs daily management. And if your child has a nighttime cough, frequent inhaler use, or struggles with exercise, talk to their doctor. Did any of these surprise you? Drop a comment below and make sure you continue to follow Peds Doc Talk here for more for child health development and parenting.